Hello everyone, this is Gary and today we're looking at seven dimensions. Now, I know what you're going to say, what is all this about? It's not the usual thing that you do and you would be quite right. It is in fact a creative uh, video, a little bit experimental. It's a collaborative uh, project um, and the details are set out in the description below along with the text we use in case you wish to read it in more detail. Basically, it's, as I've said, a creative video involving words, uh, music and pictures. It's a collaborative project, as I've said, which we certainly enjoyed uh, making and we hope that you find it of interest and possibly uh, enjoyment as well. But having said all that, there's nothing else to say, but let's just get into it. Uh, please enjoy Seven Dimensions. Seven Dimensions. Seven secret dimensions of space sit close packed and carefully folded away, curled up like kittens in the heart of the atom. Responding to an inner influence, electrons dance like chicks in their shells about the atomic nucleus, their balletic gyrations producing all the elements of the periodic table. In silent mirror symmetry, the planets of the solar system describe elliptic orbits about the sun in happy harmony, riding majestic as ancient gods. All these meanwhile scintillate in synchronization with the seven colors of the rainbow, red, yellow, pink, green, orange, purple, blue. Each can tell a story, if you ask nicely. Atomic number one, hydrogen. A red sun rising casts a long slow shadow over the heavy hanging gardens of Babylon. This is the first dimension. Length without breadth, a point in motion at the edge of darkness. A single crystal obelisk stands alone, remote and aloof. Inscribed upon the smooth surface of the single stone, the image of the one-eyed snake god Kundalini rolling with his tail in his mouth. Turning through 360 degrees, he describes a circle like a vibrating string joined end to end. Silent witness to the wave equation circumference and diameter stand forever in the ratio 3.14159265358979 atomic number two helium mercury the winged messenger streaks at supersonic speed across a polarized plane of yellow cinnabar this is the second dimension length and breadth a line in motion Turning through 180 degrees, he describes a semicircle that shines like a quicksilver moon. In the shining water below, two boys, identical twins, stand watching their reflections. Gloating as flying fish float to the surface, they stab with spears of silver. The pierced prizes wriggle, weakening, while their fleeing fellows surge skyward into Mercury's realm turning fans of ribbed fins towards the sun as they hurl themselves at the horizon. Atomic number 3, Lithium. Venus, pink and pouting, rises naked from the Nile beside the pyramids of ancient Egypt. This is the third dimension. Height, depth and breadth, a plane in motion. Turning through 120 degrees, her arms outstretched, she describes the eternal triangle of love, life and longing. The algebraic identities of her lovers X, Y and Z are washing away as the rising river remorselessly eradicates the equations she has scratched upon the sand. She makes a wish and tosses three coins in the fountain, then dives deep to swim the seven seas leaving behind only shells and singing sandpipers. Atomic number 4, Belium. Old Father Time and his sidekick, Kid Death, ride side saddle to glory over the green earth, scythes swinging like scimitars as the seasons cycle. This is the fury of the fourth dimension. The vast volume of the earth spins in helpless eternity. Turning through 90 degrees, Time describes a terrible tesseract while death, asking only for a square meal, battles the Fantastic Four in search of his freedom. 
time and tide stand still in no man's land as the foes square off, marching in four forward slash four time to the trumpet of doom while quarks and quaternions ricochet from gilded armor. Atomic number five, Boron. Mars amazes, juggling five oranges by flickering firelight. This is the fifth dimension. A hypercube in motion. Turning through 72 degrees, he describes a magic pentagram. The audience laugh as apples are lofted to loud applause and feel alive as they take their supper here at the summer solstice. Mars is smart with a capital T. He winks an eye, gold coins disappear. And now a song, a story told of sadness, gladness, rights and wrongs of old. Lyrical Mars takes a bow. Conducting his own private war on poverty, he smiles with satisfaction at the weight of his purse. Atomic number 6, Carbon. Jupiter in purple robes of power counts the crystals in a snowflake while in hexagonal hives, bees make honeycomb and royal jelly. This is the sixth dimension. Turning through 60 degrees, the small striped insects describe a pair of equilateral triangles as they journey from blossom to flower. Half a dozen diamonds sparkle as birds bath at the fountain. They sing a merry song of sixpence as Jupiter issues his decrees from his garden. Lilacs, lilies, pansies and penstemons border the paths Jupiter treads in soft velvet slippers. Sipping lilac wine. Lulled by the languid water and bird song, Jupiter gently sleeps. Atomic number 7, Nitrogen. Saturn and his seven sisters survey all the wonders of the world from the high blue heavens where they sit surrounded by silver stars. This is the seventh dimension. Turning through 51 and 3 sevenths of a degree, they describe concentric rings of fear that ripple through the fabric of the universe like waves of gravitational distortion. No living thing escapes their ghastly influence, not whales deep diving in the oceans nor salamanders hiding in the heart of the sun. Spiders scuttle to safety as horror reverberates through their webs. Sleeping dogs twitch, dreaming of dead bones. This is the end. Okay, so that was our production called Seven Dimensions and we hope that you enjoyed it and we certainly did making it. Now, if you like this video, please mark it as a like. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, well, please subscribe. Apart from that, there's nothing left for me to say except thanks very much for watching and bye for now.